You're looking at video there of an explosion at a consolidated Edison power plant in lower Manhattan earlier tonight. We go now to Bob McGee from Con Edison, joining me by phone now. Mr. McGee, uh, what is the state of the power supply in New York City now? Well, the explosion that, uh, that your viewers are probably looking at, I can't see it, but uh, I imagine it's uh, one that I've seen, uh, essentially wound up taking out uh, power uh, south of uh, 39th Street in New York City. There had been a couple of networks that had been taken out uh, before that in lower Manhattan, uh, the Battery Park network and the, uh, the Fulton network. And that had affected, uh, to that point, about 6,500 customers in lower Manhattan. Uh, at the time that this incident occurred, we had about uh, 225,000 people out system-wide. Uh, this uh, event took out a number of additional networks, which resulted in power outages in lower Manhattan, at least, to um, uh, 250,000 people. We've gotten some of those folks back. Uh, they're at about 225,000 out right now in Manhattan. But uh, elsewhere around the system, there's substantial outages. In, uh, in Westchester, we've got almost 150,000 people out in Westchester, and a total of uh, 605,000 people out in the five boroughs of New York City and Westchester. Uh, to go back to the uh, lower Manhattan situation, uh, is there is there a, a predicted uh, way this power will return? Will it start to return north to south from 39th Street down, or uh, because you have you have what now uh, looks like a very substantial chunk of the island uh, basically black below 39th Street? Well, it's um, uh, with the exception of a tip of the uh, southwest uh, part of Manhattan at the Battery. Uh, that's correct, uh, but by and large, uh, we'll probably see that power return more quickly than we'll see power return in other areas where there's significant tree damage and wires down because uh, uh, there can be network engineers that can uh, reconfigure our system to address some of the outages. Obviously, there'll be uh, uh, longer time restorations for any uh, networks where we have equipment that's underwater. Um, but um, uh, in the outlying areas where we have uh, wires down and trees down and streets will have to be cleared to essentially get to those wires and address those situations, mm -hmm. it'll probably be substantially longer. So, it, so it's fair to say that Manhattan is likely to get power back more quickly than uh, out in Queens and other areas where it's, it's because of downed power lines because well, of trees? Well, uh, I would say parts of Manhattan, not necessarily uh, all of Manhattan, those uh, areas where substations are uh, and, and facilities are underwater cannot be re-energized until such time as those waters recede and the equipment is dried out. So that's liable to take uh, uh, a long time in some instances to get some of those folks back. But um, uh, there is great redundancy in the Manhattan network, obviously, because of the heavy concentration of, uh, of businesses. And, and uh, so there are some additional things that our network engineers are able to do as opposed to uh, some other areas where there's uh, uh, single overhead networks out in outlying residential areas. Uh, Mr. McGee, what about injuries in that explosion, or what was the effect on workers in, in that plant that where we saw that explosion? We don't have uh, any reports of, of injuries at that location. We had uh, just received word in the last uh, 15 or 20 minutes or so that there has been uh, one fatality in uh, uh, the Brooklyn-Queens network due to a downed wire. We don't know exactly where that is just yet. We don't have all the details on that. But uh, uh, obviously, that's uh, the matter that's of greatest concern to us is uh, the safety of uh, of the public and also, of of course, of uh, our own workers and uh, the contractors and others who are coming in from other companies to assist us in the restoration. So, moving ahead safely is uh, is of utmost importance. We're urging people, of course, under these circumstances, to stay inside and remember when you do go outside to always beware that there may be a uh,
downed wires amid debris and leaves that you don't see or in water that you don't see and obviously the consequences of of that can be deadly so uh proceeding with caution at this point until the storm passes is uh, is what's of utmost importance here con edison spokesman bob mcgee thank you very much for joining me tonight thanks coming up the latest on the storm as it crosses new jersey and continues to batter the east coast